that snow and ice now behind us, many of us are now focused on shoveling snow and making sure things like our pipes are still in good shape. And as temperatures continue to drop going into the overnight hours, local plumbers say it's crucial to make sure you do all you can to prepare just in case your pipes are frozen and you just haven't realized it yet. Markeisha Jackson joins us now. She spoke with Brian over at Brian's Plumbing about the things to look out for. And Markeisha, what advice did you get today? Daryl, the Bryan's plumbing crew says while you might not see damage like you saw during last year's winter storm, it isn't completely unlikely to experience some pipe problems in the coming days. You wake up, go to turn on your kitchen or bathroom zinc, but no water comes out. It's likely your pipe has frozen, a scenario that Brian Walzer of Brian's plumbing says he's all too familiar with. We've been had phone calls where we had to go out and they they were at work when it thawed out and it just flooded their house. It's a disaster. And frozen pipes bursting and leaving a mess in your home is something that could very well happen to some Texomans in the coming days, making it crucial that you know exactly what to do when you notice a leaking pipe. So the main thing to watch out for now is to know where to shut your water off. That is the most important thing. So if it thaws out tomorrow, which is supposed to in the 40s, be ready to turn your water off. And if you haven't heard it enough already, it's always a good idea on cold nights to leave a faucet or two dripping throughout the night. Water moving will not freeze. So if you have a tankless water heater on the exterior wall, then you leave that hot side dripping just a little bit. The, the, the burners won't kick on because it's got a flow control. So a small drip will just keep the pipes from freezing and not kick the heater on. Uh, if you have kitchen cabinets that are on the outside wall, open the cabinet doors up. Just let some heat in. I, I caution people to put heat under there because it could catch a fire. Walzer says he hopes these tips are helpful for everyone in the coming days and for any future winter weather headed our way. Just be ready to shut your water off or if you're leaving town, shut your water off before you leave and, and then you can always turn it back on when you're back in town. It might be a little headache, but it'd be worse if you get home and you have a flooded house. Helping Texomans stay safe, prepared, and hopefully clear of any serious pipe problems. Now, if you do experience a frozen pipe, don't hesitate to call the plumber of your choice or the city immediately to minimize damage. Some great information and tips there, Markeisha. Thanks so much.